been a wild and woolly season in college basketball. The tournament's going to be awesome as always. Mr. Gumbel, if you please, sure. read the name. <laughs> Without further delay, let's begin the reveal. Here are the tournament brackets from the NCAA and its corporate champion, Capital One. We begin in the South region, where the overall number one seed is the Alabama Crimson Tide. For the first time in school history, they've earned a one seed in this NCAA tournament. 29 wins to set a school record. They sidestepped a situation involving criminal activity in which Brandon Miller was associated. He was not charged. They are here as the number one overall seed. And they will be in the first and second round games in Birmingham, Alabama on Thursday and Saturday. They will meet the winner of the first four game in Dayton, Ohio on Tuesday between Texas A&M's Islanders, Corpus Christi Islanders, 23 and 10 on the season. They beat Northwestern State and make it consecutive Southland tournament titles. They will go up against Southeast Missouri State, the Red Hawks out of the Ohio Valley, their first NCAA tournament since the year 2000. They captured the Ohio Valley Conference Tournament with a big overtime win against Tennessee Tech. Now, Continuing on down the South region, the eighth seed, the Terps of Maryland out of the Big Ten. They've got Jameer Young. There were questions about him. He leads the Terps in scoring and assists Maryland with a 21 and 2 record overall. They'll be up against West Virginia's Mountaineers Ooh. out of the Big 12. Coach Bob Huggins making his 26th NCAA tournament appearance. There's going to be some bruises coming out of that game. <laughs> that was going to be a tough one. First and second round games in Orlando, Florida on Thursday and Saturday. The fifth seed Aztecs of San Diego State. Aztecs won the Mountain West regular season title for the third time in the last four seasons. They will meet the number 12 seed from the Colonial Athletic Association, the Cougars of Charleston. 31 and 3. What a terrific season. <laughs> this team knows how to win. They're deep. They shoot a bunch of threes, score the ball at a high rate. This is going to be one of those 12 5 matchups that I could see people picking Charleston, and I would too. That's a terrific team, and that matchup would be comfortable for The them. four seed in the South as they continue to celebrate in Charleston. The Cavaliers of Virginia out of the Atlantic Coast Conference, 25 and 7. They won a share of the ACC regular season title. They will meet the Paladins of Furman University. School record 27 wins on the year, 27 and 7 overall. First time since 1980. That's, a, the NCAA that's a tough matchup for Virginia. The Paladins are excellent and intelligent. And they're a little bit psyched, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to first and second round games to be played in Denver, Colorado on Friday and Sunday. Out of the Big East, the sixth seed, the Creighton Blue Jays. Coached by Greg McDermott. He's now taken the Blue Jays to more NCAA tournaments than any coach in school history. They've won 14 of their last 19 conference games. They will take on the 11th seed Wolfpack of North Carolina State, second team out of the ACC. And that is a bubble team. North Carolina State checking it at number 11, not even in the first four. I thought they might get left out. Maybe it bodes well for the ACC. We'll see. All right, the number three seed in the South, the Baylor Bears at 22 and 10. They finished tied for third in the very, very tough Big 12, winning 11 games. They will meet the Gauchos of UC Santa Barbara out of the Big West. Gauchos, Big West regular season co-champs, and they won the Big West tournament title. First and second round games in Sacramento, California. The second team out of the SEC, Missouri Tigers, the number seven seed, got off to a 9-0 start on the season, finished 24-9 on the season. They'll meet the second seed, the second team out of the Mountain West and the 10th seed, the Utah State Aggies. We were all impressed by them down the street. And a lot, some people had them out or last four in as a 10 seed comfortably in, and I agree with putting them there. All right, the number two seed in the South as we round out the South region. Out of the Pac-12, the Arizona Wildcats, second in the Pac-12 and then won the Pac-12 tournament title over the top seed UCLA. That's the best party right there. That's a good-looking party. <laughs> they will meet the 15th seed Princeton Tigers, winners of the Ivy League title, back-to-back 20-win -back seasons for the Princeton Tigers. So. Let's review this bracket as we slide back up to the top. What stands out to you, Seth? Well, many surprise Alabama getting the overall number one seed passing Kansas and Houston. Both those teams lost, but this is my upset region, guys. You named it. Charleston beats San Diego State. Furman beats Virginia. Charleston to the Sweet 16. And UC Santa Barbara is going to the Sweet 16. Baylor's lost a couple first-round games over the years. Major. I'm giving it all, I'm oh, giving it all up the first round. Wow. 
in. Yeah, that's I mean, it. Fully all totally in from here. I'm, all, I'm interested. I'm in the rest of these eight nine matchups. This is a doozy, as Jay said. Two physical teams up and down seasons but i tell you what that'll be a tough matchup whoever comes out of that game against most likely alabama that'll be a fun one to watch jay take a look at the bottom part of this bracket for us. I, I like two games there utah state and missouri both of those teams can really score that game could be in the 90s that's gonna be a fun one to watch yep. i also think princeton is back to the peak career day that is a team you do not want to face they're executing at a high level i still think arizona will come through